So this is the Nitro system. This system, we believe, is going to be one of the absolutely key solutions to cleaning up the waters here on Cape Cod. A groundwater highly charged with nitrogen and other contaminants. Uh, these systems, the systems in the background here, uh, can remove 95% uh, or more of the nitrogen. Actually is equally successful, it looks like, early days at pharmaceuticals, many household products. So we're really excited about this. This is not only important for the estuary, it's important for the groundwater. Uh, the drinking water that we all drink and in the background, I don't know if you can see it or not, is Shubal Pond, a 55 a acre approximately pond here uh, that's been closed again for three years running because of contamination. What we're installing here with this unit is the result of four to five years of ongoing testing and R&D, both in the field and at the Massachusetts Alternative Test Center. The nitro tank goes in between the septic tank and the leach field or leach chamber to where it focuses on removing nitrogen, organic carbon, and suspended solids. The specific focus is on removing total nitrogen from the system. We're expecting that this system will achieve 90-95% nitrogen removal consistently. It's a heck of an opportunity that Clean2 with the Barnstable Clean Water Coalition along with other partners from the Massachusetts Test Center, EPA, and the U.S. Geological Survey to really put these nitro systems through their paces and really demonstrate what can be achieved and consistently produce a highly treated effluent. The whole focus here has been simplicity, starting with simplicity of design, simplicity of fabrication, simplicity of installation, and simplicity of operation, so that the operation will be, in essence, very, very low maintenance. The original nitro system uh, was put in at the test center at about, I think it was about 2015 or so, John Smith. Um, you know, we do the sampling and, and those things for him um, and also provide him with feedback on the operation of the systems. These types of systems, which are the more recent iterations of innovative alternative systems, um, can really get us in the range of what, what treatment plants are able to do. Um, and in a lot of cases, the costs are significantly lower than full-scale deployment of, uh, you know, a full sewer system, which would include a treatment plant and the collection system, which can run into several million dollars, whereas this, this type of a technology could be deployed at a fraction of a cost. 85% of the problem with the groundwater here on Cape Cod has to do with septic systems, so-called Title V systems, that simply don't work. They don't take the contaminants out, they move solid waste away from the house, but they just don't do the job in terms of wastewater treatment. These kind of systems we think are going to help solve the problems in the ponds. This is really the first in-depth project that will look at a whole neighborhood deployment and um, provide us with a lot of data that's missing that we need um, as we start to think about ways that we can use these more broadly on the Cape. So over uh, to my right, uh, the treatment tank is actually in the ground now. Uh, right after that, we put uh, grass over the cover. And now as you can see, it's just a beautiful lawn. You really don't even know it's there. And that's the key to the work that we're doing here. And so uh, today we walked around with a number of important politicians like Julian Sear and Kip Diggs to talk about the project and talk about the importance of getting uh, the political help we need to start to move this forward. This project really shows uh, a tremendous amount of promise uh, for what's possible here. And given that, you know, we have a, a real crisis uh, with our, our failure to address wastewater, uh, this, this could be a real game changer. For too many generations, we've really kicked the can down the road uh, in not truly addressing wastewater. Uh, almost all of our wastewater right here, how do we deal with it on Cape Cod? We deal with it in septic systems. Uh, yes, we need pipes and pumps, we need sewers, uh, those need to progress. Um, but we also need to figure out how do we uh, deal with all these septic systems that we have. Here. So, very excited to be here. Uh, and really grateful to the Barnesville Clean Water Coalition uh, for making this all happen.
Today is a really exciting day for us because after three years of getting this project ready, we're seeing the systems going into the ground. So it's really exciting to see a new system installed behind me here at this location and two new systems going in with 10 to 15 to follow later. This is a complex problem that affects all of Cape Cod and frankly much of the east coast of the United States. And it's important that all levels of state, town, community governments understand and understand the technologies and how these things can be brought to bear to address these key challenges. I'm honored to be part of the project and I'm also just filled with so much gratitude that we can be part of the project and part of the solution for some of the problems that are happening with our, our water today. Being involved with these great people that have such a passion for our environment has just been an eye-opener for me and for I think everybody within our community.